Hello and welcome back to the Impression Wiz channel. I'm your host, the Impression Wiz, and today we're going to be playing 60 Seconds Reatomized. And I know a lot of people have probably already played this, but I thought I'd give it a go. See what kind of crazy voices I can do for some of these characters. Uh, cause why not? And, of course, new game. Uh, and I will probably do, like, the whole apocalypse thing. Just a whole full atomic experience. Let's see. Gonna play as Ted. Yeah, I like playing as Ted. And, uh... I don't know... Uh, I think I'll start off with Little Boy. Yes, I know, start off on the easiest one, but... Let's just start off in an easy one first. This is just the first episode, so... Bad smell? Toxic fog? Whoa! Mary Jane, quit playing that dang tuba! You're not good at it anyway! I don't know if that's going to be the voice I use for her, but... Um, for him, I mean. That might be. Oh, here we go. Hup, 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 hup. Gotta get the wife! And, uh, and, uh, 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 radio and, uh, water. Sorry, Mar Mary Jane, you're not the first one in. Gotta try and repopulate the thing, you know? <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, kid friendly, kid friendly. Yes. Come on. Food, 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 water. Go, 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 go. Uh,. Probably should get the sun. Yes. Got to get my young son, Jimmy. Jimmy! Or is it Jimmy? I, I don't know. Get in there. Okay. Yes, I'm going to go grab my daughter now. Ah. Bug, bug spray. Or poison or whatever. D door. D no time! <laughs> Through the hole! I did it. Okay. Yes, I was in character with him the whole time. <laughs> oh, look. A lot of different achievement thingies, possibly, in the future. Ooh. Family guy. <laughs> hey, Lois. <laughs> okay, so... Here we are, we have the whole family. Eh, not too bad for soup. Uh, a couple water. That fly is going to annoy me. I have the ammunition for the gun that I didn't grab. I have some poison for something. There's a harmonica down here. There's a radio and then there's the axe. Okay, let's see what it says down here. All of us made it into the shelter just a second before the blast. Yes, I'm going to use this voice for him. That was a close one, as long as we're... Dang it, when I'm trying to do a, a video, that always seems to go off. I really should remember to not bring that in with me. Anyway. That was a close one. As long as we're all together, we can make it work down here. I don't know why I'm giving him almost a British accent. He's supposed to be an all-American dad. <laughs> We remember hearing ca hearing canned soup is healthy for you. We vaguely remember stashing some things in the shelter because there was no room for them upstairs. Turns out being messy can really work in your favor. So bullets, an axe, and harmonica. Hmm. I wonder where that harmonica went. Our shelves are full of cans. We'll eat from cans, we'll sleep on cans, we'll even talk to cans. Some of us already do. Timmy! What, Dad? <laughs> There's just barely enough water for everyone. We will have to ration it strictly. So, about four bottles of water, five cans of soup, and we're not eating on day one, we just got here. Mm. Mm. Boo. <laughs> Uh, should we go outside? Is unavailable. Okay. It's very difficult to prepare for unforeseen consequences when you don't see them coming. Well, 
there are unforeseen by definition. So that does make a lot of sense. We can stay... We can't say we were prepared for what happened. Probably the lone wanderers up there wandering gonna kill everything and whatnot. And now, day two. I don't know how much of all of this is going to stay in. I'll probably edit it down some. I might survive a long time. I might sur survive for only like five days. But I'll edit out certain things, make it a little bit more interesting. Living in the past is not wise in our current situation. We need to think of today and tomorrow. Ted seems to be doing... Ted seems to be doing all right, even though the world has gone to sh a crappy place. <laughs> Mara Jane says she's fine and doesn't need anything. Everything seems fine with Dolores. <laughs> Timmy se seems okay, as much as he can be in our current situation. Hey, Dad, what's going on? Not now, Timmy. I'm trying to narrate. <laughs> Oh, but come on, Dad. You can't be that mean to my brother. Del er, Mary Jane, listen to your father. Uh, okay, the voices are probably going to go to crap later anyway. <laughs> to a crappy place later. Not going to feed them today. It looks like the area is still irradiated. Going to the wasteland right now is unsafe. Unless you don't mind getting sick. Um, I don't think I'm going to send any of them out there yet. There isn't a lot of space down here, and we smell everything. When one of the wall's bricks got loose today and revealed a hole, we felt pretty sick. It's the smell coming from the hole. It's terrible. We should investigate and remove the source of this stench. Yes, we should. Not sure how you're going to do that, but here we go. All thumbs. What, what did you... Really? The radio? Great. We approach the hole cautiously and peek inside. What happens next nearly gave us a heart attack. Some crazed rodent, reptile, or whatever this crazy mad creature was, leapt out and started jumping all over the damn shelter. It was out everywhere. We couldn't catch it. Before we could do anything, it pushed our radio off the table and back went back into the hole it crawled from. We never saw it again. Minus one radio. Mm. Where's water when Ted needs it? Water is what Mary Jane needs the most right now. Dolores can't remain this thirsty for long. Some water for Timmy would be nice. <laughs> So, water. Do I give them water now? You know what? I think they can go for without water for a little bit. And again, I'm not sending them out of the shelter out of the shelter yet. And day three. The kids have been all fidgety lately. They miss running around and playing games with each other in th their rooms. Even though the shelter is way smaller than their bedrooms, there's some space in front of the table that seems perfect for wildly sprinting around and playing tag. Should we let them play? Yeah, they're kids. They should play. Let the kids play. Let the kids play, darling. Fine, whatever. Okay. The kids were ecstatic. Watching them play was a real treat. They looked so happy when Mary Jane pushed Timmy around. He fell face first on an unopened soup can that was ha was hidden in the corner of the shelter behind some empty bottles. What a lucky day for us. And we're sure Timmy's face will be just fine. Thanks, Dad. No problem, little Timmy. One can of soup. Ted looked... Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave. He needs to get a drink right now. Mary Jane keeps fainting. We really need to find her something to drink fast. Dolores will not survive without water any longer. Timmy is 
Timmy's in terrible shape. We need to give him some water. Now. Okay, water for everybody. And again, I am not sending them out yet. Day five, will I do that? How about that trip to Nevada we've been postponing for a while now? Maybe we should go there. That's our first stop after we get out of here. <laughs> Whenever that is. Well, things seem pretty much fine. We can make it work. Even in Toronto. Question is, how do we find a boat to get there? We heard that the best way to get to you that's the best way to get to Europe. Dead is no longer thirsty. Mary Jane is no longer thirsty. Dolores is no longer thirsty. Timmy's no longer thirsty. Oh good, good. You know, I'm gonna give them all soup today. Just to be like just to keep on a thing, every four days water, every five days uh, soup. So day eight and then day ten. Yeah. And now that it's day five, let's send them out. This is a joyful time in a sea, sea of grief. It's Timmy's birthday today. Just like last year, we waited until the last moment to get him a present. But this time, our options are limited to whatever we can find in the shelter. What are we getting this year? Nothing! I want cake. <laughs> We're getting nothing. Time to grow up, Timmy. This ain't Kansas anymore and Santa doesn't exist. Ted is fine. Mary Jane is feeling safe. Who wo wouldn't in this coffin-sized shelter? Today is relatively calm for Dolores. Despite the desire, dire circumstances and all the trouble we are going through, Timmy is being very brave. No food. It's about time we chose someone to scavenge the remains of our town in search of supplies. Who will it be? The wasteland awaits. You know, I'm going to send little Timmy. And I'm going to send him with the axe. Out you go, Timbo. Timmy went out to the wasteland. We don't know what we'll do if he doesn't come back. Equipment, the axe. Ted needs water to survive. Getting something to drink for Marianne sounds like the right idea. Dolores can't remain this thirsty for long. Day 8. Remember that, people. Day 8. We had some spare ammunition, but now it's gone. We don't know how or when. It must have been misplaced. We need to find it, and soon. Well, we don't have a flashlight, so good luck with that. Ah, uh, day eight. It was too dark to find those tiny bullets without a flashlight. They aren't lost, technically. They're still in the shelter. Technically. <laughs> Ted is looking like he's got one foot in the grave. He needs to get a drink right now. Mary Jane keeps fainting. We really need to find her something to drink fast. Dolores will not survive without water any longer. Fine, fine, fine. All three of you get water. We can't keep sitting on our backsides here in this tiny little bunker. Or we can start thi thinking about getting away as far as possible from this radioactive wasteland. Who would have thought the Reds would ruin such a lively neighborhood? We could do it in our own. Do it on our own. The escaping part, not the ruining part, of course. However, 
There might be someone out there who can help us. Let's keep our eyes and ears open. <laughs> Day nine. Still just gonna stare at me, huh, Ted? Huh? Okay. If there's one thing we need to do, it's to use a radio on regu on a regular basis to catch any emergency broadcast that might be transmitted in our area. It's either that, or it's scrolling around outside waiting to get picked up. The first option sounds a bit more sane. Ted isn't thirsty anymore. Mary Jane is, is no longer thirsty. Dolores is no longer thirsty. And you're not getting food either, so... We decided to peek outside for just a minute to see if the store around the corner was still standing. When we were about to step out, we heard a growl in the darkness, and a pair of ferocious eyes appeared a few feet away. We only had moments to decide what to do. Spray it! Acquire a radio to make further contact with the military. Yes, yes, I get that. Sorry, that was my fingers. Day 10. Oh, the dally marks. Insect killing spray can wipe out any mutated mosquito, as well as creatures looking in the shadows. It didn't bother us again. There isn't much going on with Ted. No trouble, nothing new. Mary Jane says she's fine and doesn't need anything. Dolores is fine as well. And well. As much as anyone can be fine and well in this tiny shelter. Like I said, I'm going to feed them every five days and water every eight, uh, four days. A knock on the door is not something we take lightly these days. So when a man comes to our doorstep today offering us a high profitable game of cards, we weren't convinced. Is a bet of two soup cans in a card game a reasonable choice in our situation? No, because we don't have cards anyway. <laughs> okay, that creeped me out for a little bit there. I thought that was really where I was. <laughs> okay. Gambling is a terrible habit. What kind of example is that to set is that to set the kids? We need supplies, but we're not getting them like that. We'd sooner rob someone. We sent that man away. Good riddance. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. Plus the axe. Who would have thought wooden furniture could be so durable? In the ruins of one of the town's buildings, we saw a desk and several bookshelves. We soon realized these are the remains of the local public library. So we went between the rubble to investigate. I should be reading that in Timmy's voice. You know what? Timmy's voice, here we go. The head librarian was a shy and quiet local girl local girl <laughs> with a weird passion for firearms <laughs> finding a loaded rifle attached to her table wasn't a big surprise to us plus a rifle under li the librarian's table we found a lunchbox and some food in it we wondered we wondered what could have possibly prevented her from eating her lunch the collapsed ceiling might have taken her appetite away <laughs> Plus one soup can. Under the debris, we found some water bottles. There's a bit, they're a bit dusty, but the liquid inside looks clean enough. Plus two water bottles. The sturdy bookshelf protected some of the books from incineration. We ditched the great American novel and other classics and went straight for the student hand or scout handbook. And there's the handbook. This last expedition got us thinking. Maybe we could just drive away from here, from this nightmare somehow. Of course, most of the automobiles above are completely burnt out, but if we could find a solid base and scavenge enough parts, perhaps we could build a vehicle of our own. 
We better keep an eye out for those on the future expeditions. That's right, Timmy. <laughs> Ted needs water to survive. Mary Jane is very thirsty and has to drink something. There has to be some water left. Dolores should get it. Timmy is very hungry. Timmy is really tired. Timmy isn't feeling very well. Well, Timmy, you're going to get water and food since you were gone. The other three can drink later. And then we can start the cycle again for you. Ah. Uh. No, let's not send anybody out yet. We didn't expect to get a phone call so soon after the atomic bomb drop. Yet here we are. We can clearly hear the, a phone ringing outside. It must be the public phone booth on the other side of the street. Should someone go answer it? Yeah, Mary Jane, why don't you go answer it? And come back so you can get some water. When we answered the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp of relief from, from... I should read that in Mary Jane's voice. When we answered the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves as survivors from a nearby town of Hill Valley. That sounds familiar. We had started exchanging information when the call was cut short. Something must have gone wrong on their side. We hope they'll get back to us. I doubt that. Timmy is very hungry. Timmy is still quite sickly. Timmy still hasn't rested. Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave. He needs to get a drink right now. Mary Jane keeps fainting. We really need to find her something to drink fast. Dolores will not survive without water any longer. <laughs> so, water for them. And you know, Timmy, since I already gave you a soup can, you can wait till the next one to eat again. I hope. I really hope. <laughs> when conducting when conducting our daily supply count, we noticed that a soup can was missing. We're absolutely sure it was one just here was just there yesterday. Bleh. That can only mean one thing. We have a soup thief among us. Now we just need to figure out who the culprit is. Who ate the soup? Mary Jane. <laughs> I honestly don't know. Ooh. Looks like we just made a mistake when counting and started pointing fingers instead of making sure that the can was actually missing. It's easy to think the worst when stuck underground in a tiny, stinky cement box. The can was there all along, and the only thing we managed to do is turn against each other and fight for no reason. Oops, lesson learned. Timmy should eat something. Timmy is still quite sickly. Timmy still hasn't rested. Ted isn't thirsty anymore. Mary Jane is no longer thirsty. Dolores is no longer thirsty. That sounds almost like my Morgan Freeman, or whatever voice. Eh? So, skipping over. Not sending anybody out. Can't do that. I didn't even read those. Only when I send some people out will I probably actually say some things. Dolores no longer talks to us. Earth to Dolores, can you hear us? Boredom can really get to you in the shelter. It can lead you to dark places. Trust, uh, trust us. Timmy should eat something. If we don't do anything right about Timmy's sickness, it might get worse. Timmy is, still hasn't rested. How about Timmy gets something to drink? He's not looking too looking well. Dolores' sanity is questionable. Ted is not complaining today. At least, not very much. Mary Jane says she's fine and doesn't need anything. 
Um... You know what? I'm gonna have Timmy eat. And then the others can. Yeah, let's, uh, actually prepare for day 15. A group of doctors knocked on our... A group of doctors knocked on our door today. Requesting some supplies that would be helpful in refilling their first aid kits. We didn't doubt that they were the real deal for a second. They did have lab coats and everything. Shall we help them? Yeah, I think this is a good idea. <coughs> okay, Timmy. You can make it. Dolores is crazy! We asked them for their doctor's license, but all of them claimed they left them in another pair of trousers. We didn't dare ask if it was just the one pair. We gave them a water bottle and wished them a good journey. And better luck with trousers. Minus one bottle. Dolores still isn't in full control of her mind. That's why Ted here is reading this one. We're not sure what monsters are inhibiting it. But we wish they would just go away. Dolores has to drink sometime. Timmy would e should eat something. I just fed you. Timmy is looking very pale. That's not good. Timmy has rested. Timmy is... Timmy is in terrible shape. We need to give him water now. If Ted doesn't drink anything, he won't last long. Getting something to drink for Mary Jane sounds like the right idea. Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. Well, lucky for you, I actually have enough food for you guys. I'm just going to probably feed you all. Let's see. So, 12 days for drinking was the last one. 12, 13, 14, 15. So, tomorrow. Hopefully you guys can hold out for tomorrow. And Dolores, since you crazy... I'm sending you out with the axe. You, you, you can just uh, go do what you want to do. <laughs> That's kind of what I would think she'd probably be doing. Dolores is on her way to the surface. Let's hope she'll make it back safe and sound. Or she can die out there being crazy. Timmy's in terrible shape. We need to give him water now. Timmy is looking very pale. That's not good. Timmy is no longer hungry. Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave. He needs a drink of water right now. Mary Jane is no longer hungry. Mary Jane keeps fainting. We really need to find her something to drink fast. Luckily for you, I can give you all something to drink. As long as we, as we have food and water, we can stay locked in. But we have to leave eventually. It would be good to head straight to safety, instead of getting ourselves into more trouble, if that's even possible in this situation. Our hope is that our brave soldiers will come to the rescue. Come to rescue us and take us to some well-hidden... <clears throat> Excuse me. Well-stocked government shelter. Timmy has comics about those, so you know they must exist. All we need to do is to make contact with the military. We don't have a radio! Because <laughs> guess what? Someone decided to... Some animal decided to break it. If there is one thing we need to do, it's to use a radio on a regular basis. Yes. Timmy's looking very pale. That's not good. Ted isn't thirsty anymore. Mary Jane is no longer thirsty. Good, good. Ever since we jumped into our fallout shelter, we've been wondering about the other door in the shelter. Should we even... Should it even be here? Where does it lead? It's high time we checked it out. Yeah, let's bring the gun along. That might be a good idea, since we actually have it now. Did you shoot something? What's the first thing to do when you open a door? Le or open to open a door leading to a place you don't know? Open fire. Bam, bam. Our bullet struck the wall, and guess what? 
we hit a water pipe. We were able to fill a few water bottles with uh, all the water that trickled from the bullet holes. That's good. I don't know. If we don't do anything about Timmy's sickness, it might get worse. Timmy's very hungry. I don't know why he ended up southern now. <laughs> Timmy is hungry, yeah. There's nothing new going on with Ted. Nothing new anyway. Mary Jane didn't cause any trouble today, and no trouble dared to cross her path. Let's see, I did it on the 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, and that'd also be the f five days, so they both get to eat and drink that day. whoop de doo The other day we, he we heard a quiet knock on our door, but when we opened it, we only found a suitcase on the doorstep and there was no one around. It isn't signed, but it sure looks like it's meant for us. Should we check that what's inside? I don't know if we should. I'm, I'm going to say no. Oh my, Ted, your hair's, uh, well, they're all kind of getting floofy and, yeah. We have no idea who left this and nowadays you can't trust anybody. There's no risking our lives for some supplies. They could be poisoned. We threw the gift away and quickly forgot about it. Timmy should eat something. Timmy needs an extra blanket. He's shivering a little all the time. We can't leave Timmy without water for too long. Ted is really thirsty. Something, getting something to drink for Mary Jane sounds like the right idea. Tomorrow. And we can't do the stupid radio. <laughs> Okay. They say ignorance is bliss. Another day without any clue what's going on might not necessarily kill us. Timmy should eat something. Timmy is still quite sick. Timmy is in terrible shape. We need to give him water now. Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave. He needs to get a drink right now. Ted is hungry. Mary Jane keeps fainting. We need to find some water for her to drink fast. Mary Jane is quite hungry. I'm deciding to kind of give up on the voices because it's kind of starting to hurt my throat now. <laughs> a stranger pushing a rusty wheelbarrow filled with a with all kinds of goods stopped by today. He claims he's a trader looking to barter for items he requires. Um... He'd give us water for any of these in exchange. But I'm going to say no. Will they survive to the end? Will they finally make it out of the bunker? Who knows? Well, you'll be able to find out next time on 60 Seconds with the Impression Wiz. But until then, I will see you Thursday. Thursday.